Hi everyone, um, let me just sit down. Right, okie dokie, today I'm gonna have a go at mixed media morsels, um, is it number 15? Um, I can't remember, it's the butterflies anyway. And um, I've cut some A4 pieces of paper. Um, I folded them in half, here's a piece of A4 paper. So I cut it in half, um, lengthways like that, then in half that way, and in half again. So I've got some pieces of paper here that measure, let's have a look, I think they're seven and a half by, let's have a look. No, they're not, they're 10 and a half centimetres that way by seven and a half, seven and a half by 10 and a half. Um, and then I've grabbed a selection of different paints and I've got no idea whether this is going to work or not. Um, I went away to Wales, oh gosh, it was the back end of, um, of last summer. Um, it was just before the kids went back to school. We went camping and in one of the shops they'd got um, some bindi paints and you can see here that they were reduced to a pound. And they're in these tiny weeny um, little bottles and in fact I think they're glued. But they've got little dropper um, ends on can you can you see that and they're great for sort of making dots but I thought I could maybe have a go at making some butterflies um, with those don't know whether those will work then I've grabbed um, my porcelain um, ceramic paints I thought I'll have a go um, with some of those so um, I've got those at the, at the ready I've also got some pebio paints these are the prisma um, Pebios and um, so I've had these and not really done anything with them. These were reduced, I think it was to £4.50 um, in Hobbycraft and so I thought, oh, they were such a bargain, I thought I'll buy them but I haven't got around to using them so I've got those and then I might use some of these um, Stuart Gill metallic paints as well that you've seen me use um, before. So let's put those to one side for a bit and start off using these bindi paints. Not sure how much paint I'm going to get out of them. Let's try some yellow. And we'll have a little bit of purple. Oh well, there we go, that's the first one. I think we'll give up on those. Um, not really enough paint coming out of them. Let's try some, some of the ceramic paints and see how we get on um, with those. Let me just get something to scoop them out. There we go, I've got all the lids off, so let me just fold my piece of paper in half again. And let's... Oh, that's way too much. Let's drop some paint. In fact, actually, I'm going to have a piece of paper here at the side of me just to scoop off the excess so that I don't waste it. Let's put that there so that you can see what, what I'm doing. And then we'll have some of this magenta. I think that's a piece of glue that I've got stuck on the end that's coming coming loose. Let's have a bit of blue. I think we could end up with some really pretty patterns on the other side here. In fact, what we'll do is let's squish this in. it isn't it and then let's do this one as well see what we get from that one oh 
oh that's pretty right so I'm going to do the same again let's have a piece of paper at the side there and let's fold this one in half let's uh, have some of this lovely lime green Right, and I've got the Stuart Gill paints um, now. Again, these were from the same um, clearance basket in my craft store, uh, local craft store. So let's try some of these. Right, um, I went back with the um, Bindi paints and I used a skewer this time just to scrape some more um, paint onto it to get a better coverage. So that's looking a lot better now and I don't know whether you can see but that's left a really cool um, dendritic pattern as well. So that's that one. Anyway, I've given my Pebios um, a good mix. So I've got those just, just here. I've just chosen a few of the colours. Um, so I'm going to start off with the darker one, this purpley colour. These are quite smelly if um, any of you've got any of these. And these sort of, when they dry, leave like um, a honeycomb pattern. They're really cool. You can make um, really cool jewellery um, out of these. I have had a quick play when I first have had them, but um, haven't got them, haven't had them out again since. So let's see what we end up with with these. Let's move those out of the way so that I don't end up knocking them over. <coughs> I've opened my window up here as well because you need some ventilation. Um, these are solvent based, I think. Let's see what we end up with here. And then I'm going to add some of um, this other green here.
So I don't know whether you can um, see all of these. I think I've um, got them all in shot. So that's the one I did with the Bindi paints. These are the Stuart Gill metallic paints. And then these are the um, Pebios, um, the Prisma Pebios. And then I've got the other ones that I did um, on the floor down there. And I'll just grab those and I'll show you those. And I'm just holding these, trying to hold them steady as I can. These are the other ones that I did with the ceramic paints. So I'm just going to let all of these dry and then I'll put them on fast forward when they're dry for you and cut them into butter sh butterfly shapes. Hi everyone, um, it's Friday evening. Um, what time is it? It's 20 to nine in the evening and um, I've cut out my butterflies and I thought I'd come on quickly um, to show you. I've positioned them all nicely so that I could photograph them for mixed media morsels. Um, but what I did, I took, um, in fact, first of all, I printed off um, some pictures of butterflies and moths. Um, and then I cut them out and I chopped them in half and this is what I was left with. So that's a butterfly. That's a butterfly and that one's a moth um, because I don't know whether you can remember but some of mine were sort of um, the prints came out quite long and narrow so I thought well I'm going to struggle to um, get a whole butterfly print out of those so that's what I started off with and that's what I used and then I took um, the individual papers and the Pebio paints in fact um, most of them because they're quite sticky um, just because of the nature of the paints, I folded them outwards um, because the first one I did, I folded it inwards and it stuck together and I had a bit of a hard job trying to peel it off again. And then I put my butterfly on the page like this and you can see that I've gone round this one bigger than the actual cutout. So I just held it in place and cut around it and, and that's what I did. And so I've got this whole stack here of um, the outlines of the butterflies. Can you see? Um, have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but just couldn't bear to throw them away. <laughs> More hoarding. Oh, this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? But um, but as I say, these are my butterflies so far. And next week, I mean, it's too late now. It's 20 to nine in the evening. Um, and I'm gonna sit down with a glass of wine and watch some um, TV. Um, but um, but here we go, so I shall do some doodling and decorate these next week um, and decide how I'm going to mount them or you know what kind of page I'm going to do with them, um, blah de blah. So anyway, hope you liked it and I'll see you for the next part when I do some more with them. See you, have a good weekend.